G'day renovators, uh, welcome to a, another episode. In this episode, we're looking at how to use the Australian Lawn Fanatics um, Growing Degree Day Calculator. So, um, what are the key benefits of this? Well, it will calculate your Growing Degree Days for you automatically by pulling data from BOM. All you'll need to do is open up the document and it'll do the rest once you set it up correctly. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is go to the Australian Lawn Fanatics Facebook page, go to Files, go down and download the PGR Tracker Lawn Addicts Edition by hitting the three dots and hit Download. Once you've done that, you should have this opened up uh, and then you should be looking at a document somewhat like this. Let's go through how this works. Uh, up the top right, select your product that you're using, let's say you're using Primo or Astro, uh, you are using a rate of 21 milliliters per 100 square meters. You have your growing degree days set at 200 for reapplication, and you select your grass type warm or cool season grass. Warm or cool season grass will uh, adjust the calculations. For warm season grass, you will have 10 degrees uh, subtracted from your daily average. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a quick look. Down on row 25, Tuesday the 12th of January, you can see that PGR was applied. So on that day, it doesn't accrue any growing degree days. Let's go to the next day. You have the minimum of 15.3, a max of 26.5. If you add those together and divide by two, you will get the daily average. Once you get the daily average for warm season grass, you need to subtract 10. So then you get 10.9 and 10.9 is your growing degree day number for that day. You'll do that calculate, it'll, this spreadsheet will do that calculation for each day and it will start accumulating. So this is a cumulative column here. And once you reach that magic number of 200, you'll see that this page, this uh, spreadsheet tells you to reapply. Let's say it's raining here for a few days, so you couldn't quite get to it. And then you reapplied PGR, at 224 growing degree days before the surge growth kicks in, and then you're good to go again, okay? So if you uh, don't live near Adelaide Airport, you need to adjust this data and where it's coming from. So how do you do that? Well, go to the instructions, and it says step one, go here. So click that. It should throw you over to this website, and then in step two, it says select data about temperature with daily minimum temps, so temperature, daily, and we want minimum. Let's enter a location. I'm going to do Brisbane. Let's find it. I'm gonna click this one. You would need to find the one closest to your location. You want 2021 is the year, and that is your station number. You will need that later. Um, hit get data. It'll open up a new web page like this one. Go up to the URL, click it and then control C to copy it. You are going to want that. What you need to do now then is go to your daily minimum worksheet over here. Click somewhere in the data. Go up to the query ribbon. Click edit. Right click on the source, hit edit settings. Highlight and delete that URL. Copy and paste your new one in. Hit OK. You will notice that the data was 21.7 for the minimum. And it's on our spreadsheet, it's still got 15.8. Once you hit um, close and load, it should update and pull that data in. So let's watch that happen. There you go. Okay, let's go do the same for our daily max. So you need to go back to our original web page, go up to the top. Instead of hitting minimum temperature, go maximum. All the rest should stay the exact same, so no need to change anything there. Hit get data. It'll shoot you over to this page for maximums. Again, you need the URL, so copy that. Click somewhere in your spreadsheet. Go to the query ribbon. Click edit. You will need to right click the source. Hit edit settings. Delete the old URL. Paste your new one in. Hit OK. Again, 
we had a maximum of 29.4 on that day. Let's see if it changes from the current 26 there. All right, that's good. That's updated that. Let's go check our daily minutes have held. Yes, those dates have held, those um, degrees have held, and so have our new ones. Let's change the location because obviously that's important. And then your number can be found over here. So it's 40913. And then we can copy that and put that on our daily minimum temps as well. All right, now um, back to our PGR tracker. Uh, so this is now updated for your location and you can go ahead and enter whenever you applied PGR and edit that. I hope it helps guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the below uh, comments area. Um, chuck us a like if it helped you and have a good week. Thank you.